You already know what it is. It's your brother, your brother, Virgil Berry, a.k.a. Stats with the Facts, man. And we here, man. Tap in and walk with us, man. Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page. Hey, 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 hey. Real Talk Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? It's your brother, your brother, Virgil Berry, a.k.a. Stats with the Facts. And y'all know y'all tapped in and tuned in to another episode of Hey. Real Talk Podcast, pre-recorded situation. First things first, all praises be to the most high God, Yeshua Hamashiach. Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, and of course, share on your social engineer. Now, as y'all see by the thumbnail, Barry Sotero <coughs> Obama uh, of Kenyan and Jewish descent. Uh, he's not black, as in foundational black American. Um, he wasn't even raised in the States. He's not like us. He ain't from where we from. He wasn't brought up like us. He didn't experience the things we experienced. He ain't from the hood like most of us are, flat out. So when this guy comes on TV in defense of another non-FBA, but perping like they are, Kamala Gopalan Harris, telling us that we should be feeling some type of way about ourselves, not in a negative way, because we're not supporting this lady. The audacity and the nerve of them trying to roll this dude out at the last hour to try to shame us. Shout out and rest in the essence to Kevin Samuels, man. Trying to use sign language on us. Uh, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. He's using sign language on us just like how a broad would. I look at Barack Obama like a broad. He ain't no man. And I ain't gonna get into what I could get into because this is not what this is about, but pause, right? Uh, got the nerve to sit up here and tell us, try to shame us into supporting Kamala Gopalan Harris. Listen, black men, we are not supporting Kamala Gopalan Harris. Uh, we are supporting her, or should I say, we are not supporting her so much that as a, a desperate attempt to try to sway us to somehow go back over to the slave plantation of the Democratic Party, they're going to roll this dude out like we care, us real foundational black men care what Barack Obama got to say. He going to try to come up in here with these feminine ass shame sign language tactics like we gonna fall for that like that's gonna get black men to vote man we don't give a damn we ain't voting for no Kamala Gopalan here so it ain't happening black brothers black brothers and this is letting y'all know how uh important and necessary our vote actually is even though they try to make us believe that a large percentage of us in prison when there's actually a very small amount of us in prison compared to the whole right and uh, when it comes to Barack Obama, why would we listen to him anyway? He didn't do nothing for black people, black men specifically, when he was in office under the guise of being a black man, and he's not. He's not FBA, so he ain't one of us. He ain't like us. We ain't go to Yale. Right? This guy who passed the Dark Act, which allowed for... Uh, companies dealing in food processing, right? Manufacturing, uh, which gave them the right to not have to uh, let us know if they put GMO, genetically modified organism, in their foodstuffs. Barack Obama did that. Barack Obama signed into law um, all these LGBTQ, LMNOP, barbecue committee agenda rights that they somehow have. Didn't do nothing for black folks. Didn't do anything but give us a weak phone that I ain't never get. Barack Obama had us within his first hundred days in office had uh, uh, cramming the, the, you know, saying the uh, shoving the um, goddamn uh, stimulus package uh, in front of our face, which is going to have the next three, four generations in debt. Barack Obama is the president, right, who uh, basically uh, 
gave uh, the LGBTQ elemental people of committee and gender the rights to basically have more than us. Basically gave them our civil rights that we're supposed to get as black people. Under This is your homeboy Barack Obama, man. And so many more just draconian laws that absolutely work in the opposition of what any rational, straight, free-thinking black man of masculinity would even contemplate. And they want to roll this guy out at the last, uh, what, less than 25 days away from election? As if this dude has an influence amongst us. Nah, we, uh, hey, hey man, Barack Obama don't speak for us. I speak for us. And I say that wholeheartedly. I speak for the majority of real ones. Which is the people who they trying to get us to sway back over to that demon crowd plantation. And it ain't going to happen. If I got anything to do with it, it ain't going to happen. So y'all know what it is, man. I just had to make this video because, like I said, I, I speak for the majority of real ones, black men, when I say that uh, we will not be shamed, ridiculed into uh, being swayed back on that demon crowd plantation and voting for a lady. Kamala Gopalan Harris, who does not have our best interests in mind or at heart at all. She blatantly told us on national TV numerous times that she ain't going to do nothing specifically for the black community. That means us FBAs. So I, she lost my vote right there. Not to mention all the levels of just straight criminality and evilness she is involved with. She would never get my vote. And I would encourage anybody to not vote for her. Right. Matter of fact, I advocate for people not voting for her. But do what y'all will. I'm not voting for anybody. But if I was going to tell you who to vote for, it wouldn't be her. How about that? This lady has a history of locking specifically black men and to all you others of colors, <laughs> others of other colors, men of other men of color. She has a history of this. So how could you ever think that she got your best interest at mind? Right? She ain't black. She ain't one of us. She ain't like us. Smash that like button. Click on the bell. Subscribe to the page. Share a social engineer. And neither is Barack Sotero Obama either. I'm gone.